Hi and welcome to this video about the hosta pattern. The hosta pattern is uh, this pattern uh, with large leaves made in uh, the technique called embossed crochet. Embossed crochet is using um, post, front post and back post double crochet. I will make a separate video about the basic technique of these uh, stitches. In this video, I'll just talk about the, the special increases and decreases you need for the hoster pattern. The hoster pattern are used for several different things. This is a pillow. And I'm wearing a poncho, also in the hoster pattern. I also made a blanket. In this jungly green color. <laughs> and I also used it for a bag. And yeah, several other things. So it's a very versatile pattern, and uh, uh, once you get the hang of it, it's not that difficult. It's um, it's just a matter of getting started and uh, yeah, trusting trusting the process. The basic pattern of the hosta pattern is a normal rib pattern. The rib pattern is. Uh, uh, front post double crochet alternating with a uh, back post double crochet so it would be a front post back post front post back post front post back post front post back post and so on so this is just the basic pattern you can see in the leaf, in the leaf um, <clears throat> and then you'll shape the leaf by making increases in the beginning of the leaf and then you'll make decreases at the, uh, the tip of the leaf. So that is how the pattern is formed by increases and decreases. So, and because it's a rib pattern, uh, you can't just make the normal uh, decreases where you crochet two stitches together. You'll need to make a, a decrease where you still follow the rib pattern. So that is what I'm going to show you. Um, but first I'll just show you the, the increase, not that it usually causes any problems, but just in case. So, because it's a large increase, so just to show you how, what it looks like. In the pattern I write it like this, one front post double crochet, one chain, one front post double crochet, one chain, one front post double crochet and all these stitch all these stitches are made around the same stitch so it's a large increase you can see it's four stitches are increased at the same time I'll just show you what it looks like <clears throat> so so I'm making the increase around this stitch. First I'll make a front post double crochet. If you need to see how the front post double crochet is made, I have another video showing you the basic stitches. So yeah, that was the front post double crochet, then I'll make a chain. And around the same stitch I'll make one more front post double crochet, chain one and make one more front post double crochet, all in around the same stitch. So when you look at the finished increase, it would look like this. A little uh, shell or a W if you like. So that's what it's gonna look like when you make it. The decreases tend to cause a bit more problems. <laughs> Um, because it's a rib pattern, you can't just make the normal crochet two stitches together because then it will it won't look nice. You need to to make larger decreases. So in the pattern, I'm gonna I'm writing it like this: two front post double crochet together over three stitches so I'm 
crocheting two front post double crochet together, but I'm doing it over three stitches instead of just two. And it will look like this. So these are the three stitches I'm gonna uh, decrease from three stitches to one stitch. So I'm gonna start uh, if around this stitch, but I'm gonna stop before the last step of the stitch. You can see now I have two loops left on the hook. So at this point I stop and, that, and this is an incomplete front post double crochet. The middle stitch, the B, I'll skip that and just make another incomplete front post double crochet <laughs> around the next stitch. So again, I'm making it, but not finishing the stitch. So I'm making an incomplete stitch. So now I have three loops left on the hook, yarn over and pull through all three. So that's the increase, one of the increases. The increase I've just made is the one that's used here at the, at the tip of the leaf. <clears throat> and I can just show it again. So it's made over three stitches. First I make an incomplete front post double crochet around the first stitch. The next stitch is skipped or missed, and then I make an incomplete front post double crochet around the next stitch. Three loops on the hook, pull through all three. So, and then you have this sort of inverted U that is the, uh, the decrease. And what is very important, this was not too difficult, I guess, but what is important, especially when you're doing uh, this pattern, in rows back and forth as in the hosta blanket. When you turn your work, I'll just make some turning chains, and you are going to crochet where you have your decreases. Often people see, ah, oh, there's a stitch and there's a stitch, but <laughs> this is the decrease. And if you look at the top, there's only one set of loops in the top. So this is this is a decrease and it has to stay a decrease. So you need to crochet around the complete decrease and it count is just one stitch. But you can be confused because it sort of has two legs. But it's very important that you sort of look at where your decreases are and remember that now they are only one stitch. Otherwise, you will have lots of problems with stitch count. So when you crochet around your, your decrease, have a look at it. Maybe have a look at the top and see, oh yeah, that's my decrease. And then remember that you crochet around the complete decrease, not into each leg of the decrease, because then you sort of remove the decrease again. So that is a very common mistake to make when making these uh, decreases. In the very tip of the, of the leaf, there's an even larger decrease here. You can see you have these three lines and they turn into one. So that decrease is written like this. Three front post double crochet together over five stitches. So, large one. Basically, it's the same as the other one, just larger. So again, you will make an incomplete front post double crochet. You'll stop when you have two loops left on the hook. Skip the next stitch and make another incomplete front post double crochet. Now you have three loops on the hook. Skip the next stitch and make another incomplete front post double crochet. So you'll end up having four loops on the hook. 
yarn over and pull through all four. So it looks like this. So it's sort of an inverted shell or inverted W. And again, remember when you go back, this is just now one stitch. Very common mistake to make this in the in these kind of patterns when you made an increase a uh, decrease on the back sides even though it's very uh, three-legged <laughs> it is still just one stitch so important to remember i hope this will help you in your making of the some of the designs in the hosta pattern and i hope you enjoy the pattern